Hey guys, welcome back to another Gaming Memories video. Here we are taking a look at a very rare racing game that was released in Japan only for the PlayStation back in 1996 and that is Race Driven A Go Go. And this game is also a port of a game that was originally released a few years prior back in the early 90s under the name Race Driven but it's also a direct sequel to an original 3D racing simulator game by the name of Hard Driven that was developed for computers and PCs back in the late 80s and early 90s as that was one of the very first ever 3D simulation driving games ever created and this sequel is also a direct reflection of that original game that carries on the same aesthetic and adds more features and so forth into the mix but with this unique version of the game it adds in a lot of elements that were added into both the original game and in race driven where you can race on a lot of the original tracks from the early versions of the games but there's also a few extra additional features added into this version of the game you do have access to a number of different types of vehicles all with their own unique abilities and handling characteristics that do reflect your overall gameplay experience as you use them on each track but you also have access to a select number of different tracks both from the original game and updated tracks with improved visuals and textures and so forth but looking at the visuals in the game this in itself is how an original 3d style simulation game would have looked back at that time this was long before the likes of proper 3D gaming on consoles with the likes of the PlayStation, the Sega Saturn. This year would have really started at life as more like a test type of prototype to see how racing games would have worked and then it was eventually developed into a game. So it is quite unique to see a port of this that was added onto consoles so not many people would know that this type of game even exists or even that something like this was even a thing back in the day. So it is quite unique but it also offers up a piece of game in history so you can get to see a direct overview of how early 3d style games would have looked and if you are into something or looking for something that represents that era of gaming this is definitely one of those games that i think you should check out although i wouldn't really compare it as such to other racing games on the system because again games over that time from the early 90s all the way through to the likes of 1995 and 96 games had evolved an awful lot and a lot quicker in the space of the six or seven year lifespan but it is interesting to see the comparisons between a game like this compared to the original and as this is a port of those early games it is interesting to see the differences between all of the type of games out there so in my opinion it definitely is worth the look i do remember myself when long before i got into the likes of gaming on the play PlayStation. I was used to playing likes of 2D games on the Sega Master System, Mega Drive and even Super Nintendo but I do remember seeing early versions of 3D simulation games similar to this that would have been seen on the likes of game shows on TV. We used to always sit up and watch the likes of the TV shows whenever they were on, on the evenings and the weekends and they would always do quick like overviews or reviews of these type of games and you were kind of just left in awe with the visuals because you didn't think that anything was possible, you were so used to playing the games that you were playing on those consoles to see something like this was definitely different it had a proper almost very early like virtual reality aesthetic to it which was also futuristic if you put it so it was very different for its time now this game may not be for everybody a lot of people will probably look at this and they'll be like no i don't like it straight away they won't even give it a chance but if you are into games in general and you really like gaming history and you like to see the evolution of different types of games i do highly recommend that this is something that you go and try out even if you only play it for a few playthroughs again it's difficult to play it's, it's it's hard to master because again it's an old school game there's very little room for error but there is quite a bit of fun to be had with it it's just something that is very very different to what you would be used to playing on consoles but also with this game as it is quite rare you can get versions of physical copies of it on the internet on the likes of ebay and so forth as of recording this video but you will pay a heavy premium to be able to gain access to one of those physical copies you will definitely end up spending a couple of hundred dollars just to gain access to a copy but in hindsight to that if you are a game collector which i'm sure a lot of you are and you like collecting physical copies of games there's no reason
reason why you probably shouldn't have this in your collection as well because again this type of game does represent a piece of game in history that's pretty much long forgotten and like I mentioned there is a lot of gamers out there that wouldn't even know that this even exists so to still be able to get a chance to even play it now today is for me personally is quite a privilege because again I love old school gaming I grew up in that era when things were transitioning from 2d to 3d and to see these type of games in action for me just blew me away and then when I look back at different types of games that I did eventually get to play like when I got to play the likes of even Resident Evil even though it's different to this type of game but then I played the likes of Destruction Derby there was Formula One there was loads of different games on the PlayStation and I got to play them in full 3d it just for me it was just epic the experiences that I had when I was playing these type of games but to get to experience something that was presentable even long before those games even existed is also a privilege in itself because you can clearly see the differences and the ideas of developers and what they were thinking of and what they were trying to create long before a lot of those games had even been even an idea so it is worth checking out so if you can get access to it in whatever shape or form whatever way you can get to play it even if you only play for a few playthroughs even just to experience it even the once I do recommend you give this game a go whether you like it or not if you want to see a piece of game and history in action I do recommend you give it a try you've got nothing to lose you might actually enjoy it there is enough here that is what that is quite fun and that does warrant a playthrough I actually had a good laugh playing it as well even though it is difficult as hell but that's just old school games for you there's no room for error but it is one of those titles that is interesting and it definitely is unique in its own right and again it is worth just exploring just to understand and see how these early games worked so again I do recommend you go and check it out and I would also love to know your thoughts of this game if you have managed to play it yourself if you're like me and you grew up in that era where games were transitioning from 2d to 3d and you managed to even got to play this even a version of it on the PC I'd love to know your thoughts of it and what you experienced of it back then be sure to share it down in the comments below and if you have enjoyed this video and you'd like to see more of these unique style videos where I do explore other pieces of gaming history and explore other types of racing games that were released in Japan only for the PlayStation then be sure to leave a like on the video again subscribe to the channel and hit that bell icon to be updated whenever our future videos are released and be sure to check out a lot of the other videos on the channel where I do provide reviews and other gameplay videos of similar style games that were released in Japan only and also in other regions for the PlayStation 1. So until next time, make sure to keep playing those classic games and enjoying them, and keep those gaming memories alive.